Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. So yesterday, Make Music Finale dropped some pretty ground-shaking news uh, that upset a lot of composers, orchestrators, and arrangers. And that, of course, is the end to Finale. So this is a pretty big deal because everyone from the concert stage to Hollywood to Broadway, a lot of folks are using Finale, and a lot of folks have a lot of Finale files. And so this morning, I woke up to a flurry of emails, messages, and comments talking about what to do with all of your Finale files. So I'm going to make some more videos about Dorico and the transition from Finale to Dorico. It can be tough, but there's a lot of amazing things about Dorico that I think you'll really enjoy. But right now, I think we should answer the critical question, which is about what to do with your 10,000 music files from Finale. So back in 2014.5, Finale added in this exporting music XML files, and this link has all sorts of information, and I'll include this in the description below. And there's a lot of questions that I got about Dorico and Finale that I'm going to answer in some videos this week and in the coming weeks, and probably months. So be sure to subscribe to the channel so you know when those videos come out. But let's take a look in Finale and we'll take a look at a folder and how you can export all of the files in that folder from a MuseX file to an XML file or a music XML file. Now, because I love you guys so much, we're going to do this in both Finale 27 and 25.5. So first, let's take a look at 27. Okay, so here you can see I've got Finale 27 here and Finale 25 there. And I've already prepared a folder for uh, some you know, fake files we're gonna test out here. So let's open up Finale 27. So here we are in Finale 27. We can go ahead and just close this window. And we are going to go File, Export, Translate Folder to Music XML. So why is it called Translate? I don't know, it's kind of stupid. Make Music has always used kind of strange wordings for things in Finale that I personally don't really like. Um, but yeah, so it's translate folder. That's how we're going to do this batch export of MuseX files to Music XML. So take a look over here now. So since we're going to do this twice, what we're going to do first in 27 is I'm going to take all of these files and put these in a new folder that we're going to work with. And this is what we're going to change. And this is coming from uh, finale 27. So back in Finale, so now we do that export translate folder and we're going to choose that one that I have. And I actually have it on my desktop here, Finale test batch. So now we're going to go ahead, hit OK, and this is going to overwrite any MXML files, music XML files that have the same name. So just make sure if you're doing this with uh, you know multiple files that may share the same name, change those to make sure they have different names. It's going to open everything up and now if we take a look we have all of these. And I'm going to go ahead and change this by type and you can see we've got the music XML files and the notation files. It did it for all five of them. This is hugely important because uh, I myself and all of you have a ton of finale files and that's the concern, right? And I get it, it's tough. You don't want to go into each individual file and export an XML. So this is the way you can do it to do a lot of them at the same time. How many can you do? I don't know, I haven't tried to do a thousand yet, but I would recommend just because of my experience with finale and technology in general, don't overload it. Maybe do a 50 at a time to start to make sure everything's working well and then up it from there. But you know, take it easy at first and just make sure it's working properly for you. If you come into any errors, let me know because it's an important thing to share with the community while we're all working on this transition. Now I'll talk more about the uh, opening of those XML files in Dorico in a separate video, but really I wanted to answer this burning question of what do I do with all of my files? So now let's go ahead and take a look at Finale 25.5. So I'm gonna delete all of these and I'm going to add in two new files for us to test. We're going to close this out and let's open Finale 25.5. Now it's the exact same process. Spoilers. So we're going to go File, Export, Translate Folder, 
And now we're going to find that folder again, which, like I said, was on the desktop. So finale test batch. Okay, here we go. We're going to overwrite everything. And you can see it did it. So now we open that folder up. And now here we have those two. So just like that, it's able to churn out new ones. So that's it. It's that simple if you're using anything from 2014.5 and newer in Finale, you can just do a batch export, also known as translate folder. Now you also have the ability to do this with a Finale script. I don't know why you would need to do this, but just to put it out there that it's possible to do that via a script as well if you really need to do that or bind it to a hotkey. So perhaps this is the beginning of your journey from Finale to Dorico or wherever else, but hopefully this batch export helps you out. Be sure to subscribe to the channel because we're going to cover a lot more about Dorico in the days ahead. And if you have any questions, comment below and hopefully you can like this video and share it with everyone else. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.